for example you can see here i have mentioned their vertebral column has total 33 so it is 7 vertebral column this is called as cervical then there is a 12 vertebral column which is called as thoracic and there are 5 which are called as lumbar now i have written 5 and 1 what it indicates there are 5 bones that is sacral bones but all are fused together to form 1 last 4 i have written coccyx that is the tailbone but the 4 is fused to form 1 what we need to understand here our vertebral column is not straight it has s shaped curve so we can remember it in a very simple way 7 cervical 12 thoracic 5 lumbar 5 sacral fused to form 1 and 4 coccyx fused to form 1 the first vertebral bone it is called as atlas and the second vertebral bone is called as axis so this is how you can remember your vertebral bone so in a simple way if I put there is a shortcut which I have created so the shortcut says can they love sexy cola can C which is cervical they is thoracic love is lumbar sexy is sacrum and coccyx is cola so basically cola that is nothing but coccyx 7 cervical 12 thoracic 5 lumbar 5 sacral but fused to form 1 4 coccyx which is fused to form 1 so like this you can remember all the 26 bones of the vertebral column now coming to the ribs bone now when you talk about ribs there are total 25 bones present in the ribs so we are going to study the ribs now when you can see this this is the ribs part the middle part of the rib is called as sternum and this is the entire rib cage now these are ribs so when you count the number of ribs so it is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so like this your 12 ribs are arranged when you talk about the sternum it is divided into three parts so the upper part is called as manubrium the middle part is called as body and the last is called as cyphoid process so we have manubrium body and the cyphoid process when you look at the ribs look very carefully this is attached to the sternum first second attached to the sternum third attached to the sternum fourth attached to the sternum fifth attached to the sternum sixth attached to the sternum and seventh is attached to the sternum but look at eight 9 and 10 they are not directly attached to the sternum therefore 1 to 7 they are called as true ribs why directly attached to sternum 8 to 10 they are called as false ribs why not attached or indirectly attached to the sternum 11 and 12 they are called as floating ribs now why they are called as floating ribs because they are not attached to the sternum at all so this is how you can remember your ribcage and the shortcut for ribcage is very simple just you have to remember the sternum bone so I've given it in a very simple name it says my body Xerox now when I say my body Xerox so M stands for manubrium and B itself is body and the Xerox X stands for cyphoid process so like this you can remember the sternum now when you talk about girdles the upper girdle which you see here this entire part is called as pectoral girdle so basically it is 2 into 2 this bone is called as clavicle that is nothing but the collar bone and the shoulder blade is called as scapula scapula is nothing but it is the shoulder blade 
So like this you can remember there are two girdles. Upper one is called as pectoral girdle and the lower portion also we have one girdle that is called as pelvic girdle. So this girdle is pelvic girdle. Pelvic girdle is definitely two bone, one here, two here. But these two bones are formed by the fusion of three bones that is ilium, ischium and pubis. So ilium, ischium and pubis are the three bones. Here we put it as ilium, then we have the ischium, so we put it as ischium and this part what we have is called as pubis. So like this you can remember the girdles and all the 206 bones.